Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to make a 3D model of your head using just photos and the free 3D program called Blender. Blender is totally free, open source software. You can download it and use it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, open up Blender. Now, I've already got uh, those pictures taken and we're going to be doing uh, pictures of Eva's head. So let's go ahead and um, get started with that here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the uh, cube here, delete the light source and the camera. Uh, now what you'll need for Blender is an add-on and the add-on from Keen Tools. So you'll need to go ahead and get that add-on. Okay, so I've downloaded Keen Tools already. If you're not sure where it is, just simply Google Keen Tools and it'll take you to the website. And then you'll want to download uh, Face Builder. So once you have downloaded, you'll have to install the add on. So we'll go ahead and click on the um, file right here my right, editor, preferences, add ons, and then um, um, we're going to click on install first. So click on install and then look for where you downloaded the King Tools, right there it is. I pick it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, check mark on King Tools Face Builder. So here it is, and then we're gonna have to um, also uh, what is it? Update or download the information for the uh, King Tools Face Builder. So we're gonna hit the install online. So you have uh, go ahead and click on you read the agreement all that sort, and click on install. Uh, latest and then click OK and then just wait for it to download the latest uh, 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 updates for Keen Tools for Face Builder. So we give it a second here. It looks like it's done already. Okay, so we're all set. So we're going to go ahead and close it and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit the N on your keyboard here to bring up the active tools here. Um, go under Face Builder, of course. Right now they're since you've added the add-on to it, you'll see Face Builder right here. Face Builder, and go ahead and create a new, uh, create a new head right here. And what that'll do is that'll give you a, a default um, template of a new head here. So we'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and pull the head there up above the plane. Okay, so we got a new head there, and um, we'll go ahead and get the images. Now, I already took eight pictures of Eva, so I'm going to hit right here. It says Add Image. Hit Add Image, and then I'm going to go to where I saved her images here real quick and find where the pictures are. So let's go right here under Smile, and there it is. Um, I have 15, but I'm only going to use eight. So um, I'll go ahead and just choose them all. Okay, so there comes all the pictures. Um, with, e with each picture, there is cameras representing each picture, all right? So what these cameras are going to do is uh, it's going to look at uh, each side of the uh, default, the default uh, head here, and project the picture onto that head depending on where you uh, align the head. So the first picture here, I click on JPEG number one. It's going to be Eva's face right there, and you're going to see the default head mesh right here. So basically, you're just going to get this mesh and align it up on her, the features of her face. The mesh is actually is actually the, uh, the mold or the actual uh, material for your head. So however you move this mesh is how it's going to shape going to shape the mold. So uh, we're going to find all the key features on here on Eva's head here and align it. So uh, first key feature I like to use right here at the nose right here. I'm going to take that and put it right as close as I can to her nose and align it right here. All right so that looks like it's pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and next key feature I'm probably going to use the corners of the eye here. I'm going to go ahead and put it there as close as I can. I can fix this later to get even more precise. So there we go. 
So you see how the head uh, mesh already shrunk. So I'm going to grab this corner of this eye over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it as close as I can to the corner on Eva's face right here. Okay. And there you go. Now I'm going to grab these corners of the outer eyes here. And put it as close as I can to her uh, to her corners of her eye right there. Okay, yep, it's not perfect, but I can still fix it later. So next thing I'm probably going to do is the corner of her mouth. So I'm going to take the corner of her mouth and place it right here. That's one side. This side looks like it already aligned pretty well, but I'm still going to fix it. Right here at the corner of her mouth. And there you go. Alright, so it's not perfect yet. So, And the head did shrink a little, so I'm going to take the ears as best as I can. Put it right there. Then I'm going to take this ear side and put it right here. Then I'm going to take the bottom of the lobe, put it as close as I can, right there. And I can't really see, oh yeah, right here. So I'm going to take the bottom of this lobe, put it right where this lobe is. Alright, so everything starts to come together there. Next thing I'm going to do is the lips. So I'm going to take, looks like this part of the uh, nose pushed down a little more. Probably like right here. Right here. Now you can still fine tune it by zooming in. So as of right now, it looks like everything is starting to get better. So um, I'm going to zoom in a little, get more details here. Alright, so the chin looks like it matches up perfectly right here, so I'm not even going to set the chin, but I may have to in a little bit. So I'm going to set the cheeks, so I'm going to grab this right here, pull it into her cheek as best as I can, wrap it right on the cheek. It looks like the other side there is already matched up pretty well, So, but I can do even better. Zoom in and you can get more detail. and. Wrap it best you can right there. So as you can see, the head mesh is already coming in together. So I'm going to zoom in even more. It looks like the uh, mesh right here is not matching up to her head. So I'm going to go ahead and push that in as close as I can to match up her head. As you can see, the earlobes starting to come out. And the ear is starting to show up here. And the head is already shaping in already. Alright, so with that uh, uh, move, looks like the cheeks here need to be realigned. Best you can onto the edges. And this side as well. Alright, so that to me looks pretty good. Now I can even, I can um, go ahead and now that um, I have that aligned, I can look at it. So how it would look on the actual um, 3D model. So to do that, I simply will have to go down to down here. And then where it says textures, click that. And we want to create textures. So I'm going to go ahead and what it's going to do is project the texture from the photo onto the actual uh, template, the actual uh, mesh or head model. So create textures. Now, since I haven't fixed the other pictures yet, um, I'm not going to include them because I just want to look at the one that I actually fixed or otherwise it's not going to look right. So um, we're just going to look at the very first picture there and then click OK. Give it a few seconds, it's going to project those textures from the photo onto the scan and then you can look at it. So looks like um, now we haven't done anything back here around the back here so it's not going to see anything, it's just going to be all black. I haven't included any of those. So this is the first picture that I aligned, aligned from that first uh, matchup on the sketch. Um, now you're going to see there's some holes there, but don't worry because those holes, when you add the other pictures to it that project from the side, it'll fill up those holes. Those holes are there because the actual picture, um, the actual front camera did not see those that side of the nose so it shows it as black but when you actually add that picture that you're looking from the side here and match it up those holes will be filled up with these textures from the side view picture 
So, yep, so that looks pretty good. Now, as you can see, it only gets your head, it doesn't get the hair. The hair, you can always do something to it later, which I will show you guys as well. So there's one picture, and it actually looks pretty good. Now the eyes don't really look right, because this picture doesn't have those eyelids like that. That's from the actual mesh not matching up. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'll go back up to picture number one here. And if you can see the eyes here, the blue portion will show those type of eyelids. So you simply have to fix it. So I'll go back into here and look at the blue area here where the actual eye is on the mold and match it in. Just like that. I'll match up these eyes here like this. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. And then looking at the nose here, it looks like there's double nose here. See that double? You can fix that as well. So we'll go back to the picture here. Zoom in closer and you can see right here why there's why there's a double nose. Because this doesn't cover her nose out to here. Okay, so we fixed that portion of it. We probably fixed the nose right here as well, the nostrils. Okay, so let's give that one a try. So this is still the old one. I'm going to go down here to create textures and uh, create it again and see how it changes. Click OK. And there it's done. And this is the new one. And you can see that the double nose is gone, but there's a little hole there that the camera could not see just that portion. But the picture that you aligned that looks at the head from this side will fill up those holes including the nostril holes here those pictures that look from the side here will fill up those holes so that's one picture so you have to do all the pictures that you have taken from the front view to the corner view side view corner view of the back back view corner view of the back and side view once you align all those pictures you'll have a full head 3d head all right, so that's one picture that you I have aligned and set up, and it looks pretty well. It looks pretty accurate. The textures are very good, very detailed. It's unlike some of these scans with, uh, you know, a uh, regular scanning software just for a phone. There's nothing special. Would have a lot less details and a lot less uh, de uh, textures. So that's one picture, and then you have to go on to two pictures, three pictures, four pictures. Um, but I'll do all those and just show you the final product. So this is, for example, the second picture that you have to align the head simply. I would start with the nose again, just stick it there, the ears again, stick it here, the earlobes, and stick it here. And you can see that the mesh is already turning to match the head. So you continue from there on through all the pictures to get front, side, corner view of the you know left side, and then you know, the actual left side corner view, back and whatnot, all the way around the head. So um, I'll go ahead and do all those pictures, and I'll just show you the final product. Okay, so here it is. I'm back here, and I've done all the pictures I wanted to do. I've got the front picture view, the corner picture view. As you see, all these holes that we did, we saw earlier are gone because the uh, you know corner picture here actually projected its texture or colors onto those holes that now I can see. And then the side view, corner of the back, and the actual back, corner of the back again, uh, right side view, and then corner of the right side, and then back to the front there. Now, there are spots that um, uh, the cameras don't see or that you, it's optional if you want to take pictures of, but which I didn't, is the top. You see the camera, uh, because I didn't take a picture of the top, the, uh, the cameras didn't see that top. So the actual um, default mesh is, is just black. It's still there. Default mesh doesn't see any textures because you didn't take a picture of the top. I didn't. So it looks like there's a hole, but there's actually not a hole. There's actually mesh there or, you know, uh, the actual head uh, mold is still there. Same thing with the bottom here, because I didn't take a picture of the bottom. There's a hole here. 
or there's no colors here. There's actually not a hole. There's no colors here. The mesh is just here, but it's projected. It projects it as black mesh, um, which I you can color or paint here in in uh, Blender. But Blender is capable of uh, Blender is capable of go ahead and cloning areas of the color of the areas and uh, around your mesh or around your um, model here and then just paint it onto there which I'll probably just do so I got the entire head here of Eva uh, 3d all just from pictures no special scanners no nothing just pictures uh, using blender and this is blender 2.82.7 I'm using 2.82.7 all right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not going to do the tutorial on that, but I'm going to color this hole here. I'm going to color this hole here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach her head onto a body and animate it to show you guys what you can use it for, um, you, like like my past um, uh, tutorial on her head, which was done from an actual scanning program. This is just done from photos. Um, now, um, I can attach that and put it onto a body and animate it and use it however I like, or you can even... Uh, if you have a, you know, a 3D printing printer, you can print her head as a model and everything. And then if you if you notice the hair, it's all it's all uh, mashed into her head, which I will I can also paint to give volume to the hair as well, which I will do all that and show you in a little bit here. Okay, so here here we are. I got the head here. Eva's head here. Now, if you look at Eva's head, it's now have some hair volume, which I've colored the top here, matching other places here, and colored the top there, and I gave her some hair volume because if um, earlier before, when you look at the the head, it was an actual just head and with just a skull, and the hair volume was pretty much flat. But uh, after I painted it, you can actually paint the um, the mesh to give it. You know, volume. So I gave her here some volume. I filled the holes, including the hole under here. I filled it by just painting. All right, and I've successfully attached it, her head to a body, a 3D body that I've downloaded. Now there are lots of 3D uh, in, uh, characters out there that you can download for free, and they are um, CCC licensed, uh, which you are able to use anywhere you like as long as you credit the actual person who did the job so now I'm gonna go ahead and I also gave her a choker so I'm gonna go ahead and um, give it some armature or bones and animate it real quick for you okay so I've added some bones or armature you can see it it's actually one of them is actually sticking out from her head now when you animate this you won't see the bone and you won't see the armature it won't be shown at all so like some of these bones are shown out above the out of the actual model you won't see the bones they're all invisible once you uh, render it all right so I've already got a walking animation for it so let's go ahead and see how that works I'm gonna press play button here there you go she's already walking with the 3D head I made from just pictures and that's a walking animation now you can do all kinds of animation for it any kind of animation as long as you're good with it there you have it now, this will be it for today thank you everyone for joining me today and I'll probably be using this model on my next video and we'll see you then